let us go to Malta. Eliana is the name of the singer that will be representing Malta this year, and she will be singing We Are More. I really loved it to hear a song in Maltese. Oh, well, it's not in Maltese, it's partly in Maltese. And that's, it's, it's, really, it's really nice that there's a song that's partly in Maltese this year. I don't think that she is that great live. I mean, if you go on YouTube, she does a version of Music Takes Control. That's definitely not, not even, it's, it's just not, it's not, it's not there. So I've got quite low expectations. And what I'm really worried about is that if, because Malta traditionally do quite well in this competition, if Malta don't do so well this year, then they're going to blame it on having Maltese in their song. It's another good song from Malta. And um, I think we are right to call them the Sweden of junior, junior Eurovision because, yes, I have like the same kind of, I start to kind of, I have the same kind of love for Malta in junior Eurovision as I have for Sweden in the adult Eurovision. It might not be uh, the most original song of the year, um, but I love the message about it because um, it's about the youth that should believe in who they are and you shouldn't let tell um, what you should what you should do or who you should be. I think the message here, while nice and appropriate, is a little bit too simple to carry it for the entire three minutes. This needs more oomph. This needs more power in the production. It doesn't have anything of originality, which is a shame because Malta in particular has shown off original Maltese music, both language and the music itself in the junior division over recent years. I'm gonna go ahead and agree with Ben there, because I do think the song needs a bit more oomph, because the thing is, everything that it, it takes to, you know, get something good out there, I do feel like it has. It just, it just needs that whole thing to become memorable. 